Welcome to today's tutorial on how to create pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. Pivot tables are powerful tools that allow you to analyze and summarize data in a flexible and interactive way. Pivot tables are a must-have tool extensively used by data analysts and business analysts. With pivot tables, you can easily aggregate, summarize, and analyze data from various angles. They offer a flexibility and interactive way to explore trends, identify patterns, and derive meaningful insights. All right. Before creating a pivot table, it is essential to ensure your data is clean and organized. In our sample dataset, we have attributes such as segment, country, product, discount band, units sold, etc. Make sure your data is error free and properly formatted with each attribute in separate column and the data set should not have any blank rows. By using control down key combination, you can quickly navigate to the last non blank cell in a column and check if there is a blank row like this. If there is no blank row, then you will reach at the end of the data. And if there is a blank row, let me insert one using control plus key. And now if I press control down key, then you will reach, then you will reach to the last non blank cell of the data like this. Reason why we are doing this exercise is that if there is a blank row, then there is a probability that only the above section of the data set is selected for pivot table and the below one gets ignored. And doing these checks will ensure accurate analysis when creating the pivot table. All right, let's dive into creating a pivot table. There are two ways by which you can create pivot tables. First one is put your cursor on the data and go to insert tab and click on pivot table. Another quicker way is to insert pivot table by using the shortcut key alt plus n plus v plus t which I prefer to use like this. You can also change the data set range using the shift plus arrow keys like this or entering manually in this range field. All right now choose where you want to place the pivot table in this existing sheet or in a new sheet. Let's keep it in a new sheet and click OK. So you see the pivot table is in the new sheet. And in the pivot table field list on the right, you will see all the attributes from your data set. Just drag and drop the desired attributes into rows, columns and values sections. For example, you can put product attribute in rows, country attribute in columns and gross sales in the values area. Now Excel will automatically generate a basic pivot table for you like this. So this pivot table shows us the product wise gross sales for each country along with total gross sales for each product. Pivot table also provides you other options to show values as percentage of total and many more like this. Now from this data, if someone wants gross sales only from one segment, say for example, channel partners. So how will you do that? Simply drag the segment attribute in the filter section and put filter on channel partners like this. Now pivot table is showing gross sales only from channel partners. Again from this pivot, now if someone wants to know gross sales product wise as well as segment wise, how will you do that? Simply drag the segment attribute in the rows section below product attribute like this. Let's change the view of this pivot to classic. And now we see it is looking wonderful. Now comes the exciting part, answering specific questions with our pivot table. So we have this data set and we will generate information out of it using the questions we gathered about this data set. Let me quickly build all the respective pivot tables which answer these questions. First one is sales revenue for each product. So we'll create pivot table in the same fashion, Alt and BT, selecting the range and clicking on OK. Now dragging the sales attribute to the value section and product to the row section. Pivot table is ready. Next one is sales performance for each segment and country. So we'll create pivot table in the same fashion, selecting the range, clicking on OK 
now dragging the sales attribute to the value section country and segment to the row section pivot table is ready now converting this to the classic format wonderful and the last one is profit margin for each product category again creating the pivot selecting the range clicking on ok and now dragging profit and sales to the value section and product to the row section so profit margin is computed as net profit divided by sales expressed in percentage terms and dragging it down to the all the sales values expressing in percentage terms up to two decimal places so do you see the pivot table is amazing tool which provides valuable insights and answer all these questions i request you to analyze these questions at your end and build respective pivot tables for these questions and let me know in the comment section if you face any difficulty all right there are few key points to be noted while working on pivot tables number one in addition to manually configuring the pivot tables which we have seen till now excel offers a time saving feature called recommended pivot tables this feature analyzes your data and suggests pre-configured pivot table layouts that best suit your data set it automatically identifies key attributes and suggests appropriate arrangements making it easier for you to create to create pivot tables quickly you can explore the recommended options and choose the one which fits your requirement analysis this feature is especially helpful for beginners or when you are dealing with unfamiliar data structures next key point is if you update your data set or make changes to your data set then you can refresh your pivot table by simply right clicking and clicking on refresh to reflect the changes third point is if you want to update or change the range of your data set then you can click anywhere on the pivot table and click on the pivot analyze tab and finally on the change data source select the desired range and click on ok don't forget to refresh your pivot table to reflect the changes final point is if someone wants to delete the pivot table then click anywhere on the pivot table go to the pivot table analyze click on select entire pivot table and press delete button from your keyboard pivot table is gone <laughs> all right pressing control z will bring it back all right so we have seen pivot tables offer a dynamic and flexible way to gain insights and make data driven decisions with this we come to the end of this tutorial if you find this helpful please subscribe for more such tutorial thank you very much